So you, you have the figures that were given. Um, before we start, I just wanted to mention I need to make a little bit of a change in the figures that were given to you. Okay. okay. And um, you may or may not know, um, recently our new employee has given her notice, the one that we've recently hired, mm -hmm. and um, the assistant clerk. So we're going to be hiring again. When this was done, I, I was hopeful that we would have all our positions filled and trained and so forth and um, was hoping that I might be able to increase some hours and make a little bit of changes. Right now I don't think that's the right time to do that. I think we need to concentrate on getting the positions that we have, the hours that we have filled and um, trained and so forth. So I don't want to make that change right now mm -hmm. that I had thought that I wanted to make. So just to give you an idea, um, I would be taking the one assistant clerk back to the um, 21 hours from mm -hmm. the 24, the increase that was proposed, yeah. and then the other one back to 17, the, that was a 21 hour mm -hmm. um, proposed. The difference when you figure all those numbers out would be a um, decrease of $4,291 for that um, part-time wage section. Do you want to give us your figures at all? Do you want to? I'm sorry. Do you want to let us know some of your figures, or to, so that people at home know? Um, I mean, your um, your final figures there. Um, the well, the, the town clerk budgets um, with that adjustment is two hundred and twenty-five thousand five hundred and forty-nine, and we have the voter registration port, portion of the budget. Um, which is six six thousand two hundred and forty one, and then the um, election administration. And as you know, this coming year is going to be a busy election year. Yeah. We um, have four elections coming up, and so big part of the increase in this budget, uh, well, it will be due to the fact that we have the four elections, and that's something we don't have any control over we have to have the elections right. that we need to have um, so that being said um, one other thing I would mention I didn't happen to call out when I gave uh, this out is that the ballot clerk wages have been at eight dollars and seventy five cents um, for a number of years and with years. some discussion with the moderator and um, so for we, I put in for ten dollars for for the ballot clerks for the different positions. So that was one of the other increases that I made, um, and I think pretty much the rest of it speaks for itself. Um, but I'd be happy to answer any questions that you anyone might have. Okay, Mrs. Walsley. Okay, I'm going to ask for a little, ex a few extra minutes here because I have a couple of concerns that apply to the town clerk and the tax collector. The town clerk and the tax collector are elected officials. They have a right to ask for um, whatever wage they think is appropriate. We have um, been paying a deputy town manager, and this year his salary will be over $87,000 for 32 hours a week. I'm looking here at the town clerk's elected official wages and it shows 63245 and the tax collector shows 59391 You two <coughs> officials are elected by the town. You're not appointed by anyone. We don't have anything to do with bringing you in. The taxpayers vote for you. You don't work 32 hours a week. You don't work 40 hours a week. You are responsible 365 days a year for what goes on in your offices 
and what goes on in your offices in, it has to do with money, 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 money. We would be in terrible shape if we did not have upstanding elected officials doing the job that they are doing now. Both of you are important, very important to this community. I think given the current circumstances that your wages are way out of line, I would like to see both of you come back and give us a more realistic approach. I don't normally ask for more money, but I'm going to say that I think you should be compensated as independent elected officials. Only you know what you go through managing your office, watching the money, it would be a catastrophe if either or both of you were not handling the money properly. You are the heart of the money and the revenue and the income and the taxes in this community. I am insulted that we are paying over $87,000 a year that's not to part a of part our time, budget. To a part-time I think you're out of deputy. line saying I'm, something I like that, Mrs. I think I'm Wolfley. expressing myself. Well, I think you're out of line. No, I'm and not out of line. you don't need to be mentioning. Because you, I am you an need to wait and talk about that well. at another time. You're I out of line. I am an elected official You well. are out of line. This I is the budget for the town clerk. Well. And Mrs. Wolseley, you are out of line. You are not going to You are not an asset to the town. So I want to call to the town's attention. I whether think you're slanderous, done, and you should keep this is done to in the what budget. this agenda is about. I whether, think that's totally uncalled for, and I think she should be able to speak and say whatever she wants. She shouldn't whether, be mentioning people's names and on things like I that. That's not a position, part of this budget. A position. You are been, out of line in no, my No, I am not out of line, and I think that it is time <clears throat> that we took a realistic approach to these two critical positions, critical positions that are serving the town and, and controlling a huge, a huge amount of town revenues. So I will say in public uh, what I have uh, said a little earlier in this year, I have a big problem with the wages for the tax collector and the town clerk that are showing in these two budgets. And I, as one taxpayer, would be very happy to see uh, either uh, an adjustment coming forward or uh, special money articles, which is the way the elected officials always used to be compensated. So I am proud of both of you. I'm grateful for the work you do, and you have on your shoulders the whole weight of your positions 365 days a year in this town. Thank you for what you do. I'm not saying I disagree with her, but the way she said it is wrong. Regina. Shirley, thank you for your budget. Thank I you. agree as far as your duties to the town and the tax collector as well. Your total you. budget, now you're going to be responsible for four elections this mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. is under $285,000. Your projected revenues are $3.7 million. Out of that, you've already brought in almost $3 million. That's just on pretty much motor vehicle and, uh, permits, never mind what you have to deal with at the window. I haven't been in that position before, but I've been in similar ones, mm -hmm. and I can understand that it must be very difficult. And I appreciate what you and Donna do and your departments do, and you are responsible for all the money. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, and uh, it's very important, and that is one of the reasons why I did not agree to blanket salaries this year mm -hmm. you two were one of the re were two of the main reasons because what happens is people that have already been added on to continue to get added on to and no one else gets the chance to catch up and i agree with mary louise now i do see in your salary that there's a two percent increase is that um i don't it's i think it's 2.7 2.7 mm -hmm. okay so i mean i would feel comfortable with Whatever, like she said, whatever you guys think yep. that you deserve to have, I would support you. Well, thank so you. if there's any change that you think you need to make, 
Okay. You just let Mr. us know. Mr. Waddell? All right. Thank yeah, you. I agree that, that you do a great job and that you deserve the 2.71, that you deserve a, a raise. I think it's sad that people have to bring up other people when they're talking about a specific budget, and I Positions. think people should... Excuse no, me. You used a name, excuse, Mrs. Wolseley. You're minute, out of line. Wait a minute. I did not interrupt. Yes, any, you're out of line again. We're used to it. I did not interrupt anybody. I sat here and waited my turn, and I would appreciate yeah, well, we're used the same to it, thing. So you can continue. All right. The, uh, you deserve that, and I, I just wanted to say that we, we should stick to the budget that we're talking about okay. and the individual that we're talking about and not try to promote our own vindictive uh, things. Theories. Here. Thank you. Yeah, and I have a long history with Shirley. I know how valuable she is, and I will uh, consider uh, and agree with almost anything that she would suggest. Thank you, Shirley. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't say I'm only able to do what I'm able to do because I have a fantastic staff. Right. And they're, they're so supportive and, and so helpful so that we can provide the residents the service that we can so I'm thank very grateful. you we appreciate it all right so we I thank you for your comments for everybody and we'll just leave it at that for right now <laughs> thank you we're Shirley. proud of you Shirley well thank you